Hey guys, one of the most frequent questions I get asked is how to nail your skin tones when you're editing. And the first most crucial step is learning how to nail your white balance. It's important to note that the lighting in the photo plays a large role in this. And white balancing a photo with poor lighting can be super difficult, if not impossible. First, let's talk about what white balancing is. White balancing is adjusting the colors in the photo so what was white in person appears white in the photo. Our eyes are really good at judging what is white under different lighting conditions but digital cameras have a much harder time with this. While shooting, I always keep my camera on auto white balance for one simple fact. I'm gonna change my white balance when I'm editing the photo. I don't wanna waste time trying to nail it in camera while I'm out on a session. I see a lot of people using the color temperature scale when they're teaching white balance. I'm not going to. Frankly, it's super confusing and I've never looked at a photo and went, wow, that looks like it's 5200 degrees Kelvin. I like to use my eye when I'm editing the photo and I let that be the judge if I've nailed my white balance or not. We are gonna split white balancing into two different categories, temperature and tint. On one end of your temperature slider, you have blue and on the other hand, you have yellow. And on one hand of your tint slider, you have greens and on the other end, magentas. Let's jump into an image and I'll show you how to adjust these sliders to nail your white balance while you're editing. All right, now that we're in Lightroom, I'm gonna show you how to white balance. And I've pulled five images from different lighting situations to show you how to handle these situations. Now it is important to note that I've already put a preset on these images and I've fixed the exposure and some other settings so I can focus just on white balancing these images. So your white balance is going to be under the basic panel and it's going to be right here. You'll notice a few sliders and a drop down menu. Under this drop down menu, you have as shot, auto, daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent, flash, and custom. I like to leave mine on as shot. My camera seems to be much better at fixing the white balance than Lightroom is. And so I tend to leave mine on as shot until I go into adjust it. Here you've got your temperature sliders and right underneath your tint sliders. Now the biggest hurdle to overcome when learning how to white balance your images is training your eyes to see color. And this takes time and practice and it will come, I promise. As you get more experience, you'll get better understanding what colors are in the image and what changes need to be made to get a proper white balance. This image right here is way too blue. So the opposite of a blue image is going to be yellow. So I'm going to add some yellows into this image. I like to grab my slider and slowly slide it up until it looks good. And about there, it looks good. Now, one thing that I have noticed over the last eight years of editing is if I go to an image that is super blue and I warm it up to th where I think it looks good, and I go back to look at that image, it will still look too blue and I'll need to warm it up again. So don't be afraid to go back to images before your final export and just double check them and make sure they're looking good. On this image, I don't think I'm going to adjust my tint slider at all. I think everything's looking pretty good. Now this next image is super yellow and that's mostly due to the preset I put on there and how it affects certain things, especially in the tone curve. So to fix this, the very first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to cool it down. So we're gonna introduce a lot of blues back into this image. So we'll come up to our temperature and we'll slide it down until it looks good. Now you'll notice when I added a bunch of blues, you can see his skin looks a little blue. What that actually is, is that that's the magenta starting to come out in his skin. So we're gonna add some greens back into the image to balance this out. And you can see as we add these greens in, his skin gets that more natural warm glow in it. Looking at this, I think I've gone too far. I think the walls that were white look white now, but this image is supposed to be warm. It's got a sun in it and I want it to be warm and happy. So I'm gonna bring back some yellows back into this picture. It's a little bit too much. And about there is where I think we look good. All right, next up. All right, this image is super tricky. She's a redhead, so her skin has a lot of pink tones in it, and then she's in a graffiti alley with a ton of colors around her. That's why I specifically pulled this image. So you can see here, I zoomed in on this image because I really wanna make sure I'm white balancing for her skin, and so sometimes I like to zoom in to eliminate distractions so I can focus on white balancing their skin. And here, I think we've got some yellows in here going on, so I'm going to pull some blues in, and then I'm gonna pull some greens in. In. 
And I think that looks good, so I'll zoom out and kind of look at it overall. Uh, I think I may have gone a little bit too far with the blue, so I'm gonna pull some yellows back into it. And that's the thing with white balancing, guys. This is a game of just making small minor tweaks to get it to look natural. So this image was shot right at sunset and I accidentally underexposed it a ton. And it seems when you do that and you boost up the shadows, it gives you a really cool image. I'll show you what the before looks like really quick. So that's before. This is after I've gone through and edited it and put some presets on it. And so now we need to warm it up again. This is taking it sunset. It should be super warm and yellow and happy. So I'm just gonna grab my yellow sliders and start bringing it all the way up until it looks good. And this image, there was hardly any greens, any magentas in it. So I'm not really going to adjust that at all. I think it looks pretty darn good. All right, guys, so that is white balancing. It's a super simple process that takes time and experience to perfect. It will take time for you guys to see the colors in your photos, and that's fine. You will get better as time goes on. Now, a couple tips. I always tend to err on the side of being too yellow. The reason is, is warm images tend to portray happiness, and cold images tend to portray sadness. I want my images to be happy and warm, so I always err on the side of being too yellow in my images. The other tip is, is don't hesitate to change your white balancing. I've changed my white balance, edited my photos, gone back and saw them and have changed my white balance again. Sometimes a fresh pair of eyes looking at the image is what you need to fix your white balance. So if you're having issues at white balancing an image, take a step away, go get a drink, go use the restroom, come back and you'll probably be able to white balance that photo like a boss. Well, that's all there is to white balancing. Next up is the basic panel. I will see you guys there.